In this video, you'll learn about the Fill Gradient option found in the Fill panel. Open the Fill panel that looks like a painter's palette and click on the Middle tab to find your gradients. Any closed image can be filled with a fill color, a fill gradient, or a fill pattern. Fill patterns and gradients are for projects that will be printed so you will see the colors you select. Let's look at this seahorse and this phrase design as examples. Make sure your design is selected before trying to choose any fill. Also note that a design with a broken path won't fill with color. If you select an object and choose a gradient fill but nothing happens, it's probably a broken path. If you see any red dots when you double click to enter point edit mode, it's not a closed path. You can fix that with point editing, which is covered in a separate video. The seahorse has no fill color, so click around on the various default gradient choices and see what looks good. The line color won't show up when printing since it's the default thickness, so I'll change the line color to blank in the quick access toolbar so it's not distracting. I haven't found a gradient I really like yet, so let's open the advanced options with this little arrow. Now I can adjust my gradient by adjusting color points. I can slide the inner bars, although I can't slide the outermost points. I can also recolor any of these gradient color points, so I'll choose more appealing shades of greens and blues. I can even add additional color points by clicking in between two bars. You cannot delete color points. And finally, as with all fill color choices, you can make the entire design more transparent with this transparency slider. If I make copies by holding Alt or Option and dragging away from the image, then overlapping these copies will show their transparency. I'll quickly show you the gradient fill again with this phrase. Click on a default gradient, then use the advanced options to slide and alter colors. On this one, I think I'll even change the rotation of the gradient. Now these designs are ready to set up as print and cut projects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on fill gradients and start experimenting with it. Thanks for watching.